Welcome to Arcade, the sample playground that delivers fresh content daily and gives you the power to personalize sounds with the greatest of ease. Today I'm going to walk you through the browser, which will help you locate the sounds that you need, and the engine, where you can play and transform loops beyond recognition. Whether you're searching for inspiration, adding layers to a track, or looking for new ways to take your sounds to the next level, this introductory video will offer an in-depth look at how to get the most out of this powerful engine without complicating your workflow. It's important to note that Arcade isn't just another loop pack. These are playable instruments, a carefully crafted library of source-recorded content optimized for user customization. For instance, black keys play a revolutionary role in the Arcade engine, instantly modifying the sounds. Check it out. Before we dive too deep, let's run over the basics. Arcade is cloud connected, which means no websites, no external applications, and no messy folders holding up your workflow. In a world of streaming applications, complementary file hosting has come to be expected, and Arcade stands out as one of the first audio plugins to offer such useful features. When new content arrives, as it will continuously do, download what you want without the fear of being stuck with gigs of unnecessary audio clogging your hard drive. Subscribing grants you unlimited access to everything in Arcade, both online and offline. In contrast with other subscription-based products, what you build in Arcade will never not work. Any progress you make will always play back even if you cancel your subscription. And then, once you succumb to inevitable regret, you'll be able to jump back in without missing a beat. In addition to factory content, it's easy to run your own loops through the Arcade engine. Simply drag and drop one or many loops onto the keyboard or browser. Arcade will then automatically analyze your audio to detect the sample's key and BPM. One of Arcade's most magnificent traits is its flexibility in key and tempo. First off, every sound and effect intuitively locks to your project's tempo. And if you'd like to work in a specific key, Simply select it from the drop-down menu. Now everything you open will play in the key you've chosen. The feed page is a one-stop shop for newly released content, trending lines, kit recommendations, and other arcade-related content such as tutorial videos and blog posts. You'll be able to preview, download, and load kits directly from the feed. With so many sounds and so little time, Arcade calls for a degree of organization previously unfathomable to the common musician. The result is a Russian doll of thematic compartments we refer to as lines, kits, and loops. Sounds that share a common theme or musical purpose are grouped into what is known as a line. The concept of each line arose from conversations surrounding what musicians need most, so choosing a line can be an ideal starting point. Every time a new line is introduced, you'll be notified by the yellow icon. Each line is filled with an ever-expanding library of meticulously crafted loop collections known as kits. Each kit contains 15 loops optimized for maximum impact with black key modifiers, macros, FX, and modulation. You can think of these as arcade presets. When you find the kit you want, click the download button and load it up or click the Download All button up top if you'd prefer to have the entire line ready to go. Loops are the building blocks of the Arcade system. Their meta information is pre-programmed and stored within Arcade, so building your own custom kits from pre-existing loops is a piece of cake. You can access any individual factory content loops via the Everything tab. Here you can easily locate the samples or kits you need by entering keywords into the search field, or filtering through options by selecting tags that catalog by instrument, genre, function, and descriptive words. Every kit and sample has a preview, so take a peek and download whatever moves you. Now you should have all the tools you need to start building your own custom kits. When you drag a loop from the browser to a key, it will automatically adjust the loop's pitch to match your session, lock to tempo, and adopt the current kit's macros and modifiers. Boom, you're doing it. 
The moment you take matters into your own hands, the newly customized kit will appear here, in your stuff. Select this window to effortlessly browse through the sounds you've already downloaded, custom kits, kits you've added to your favorites list, and any personal samples that you've uploaded to Arcade. We know how important it is to recall previous work, so come here first when you can't remember the name of that kit that has that one sound that you love. There is a way to quickly navigate through similar kits from any list, line, or search without losing access to the main page's macro sliders, loop edit pages, and other key functions. You'll also notice that clicking the ellipses will reveal the buttons to create a new kit from scratch or save the current one. Arcade uses two octaves of your keyboard. Loops are assigned to the white keys, and black keys modify them in real time. You'll notice that each black key has an icon which signifies the way in which your sound will be altered. Arcade's current modifiers include a resequencer, which chops and reconstructs a new sequence from your original loop, playhead, which moves forward or in reverse from a designated point in the audio, and repeater, which repeats different sections at various time-locked beat subdivisions. If you want to dive deep into tweaking these modifiers, consult the online manual and allow us to assure you that yes, you can definitely do that. You can swap the positioning of loops within a kit by dragging and dropping one on top of any other. To copy a loop to an additional trigger, simply hold down the Alt or Option key, click and hold on the Edit button, and drag it wherever you want to create your duplicate. Transpose melodies instantly and in real time with playable pitch. The keyboard illustration on the top right of the interface represents the lower octaves of your keyboard that you can use to pitch the samples up or down. To engage, just hold the loop's original key as you trigger the appropriate octave. Now that we know our way around, let's talk about how to customize your sounds. Each kit comes with four easy-to-use macro sliders which allow for the simultaneous manipulation of multiple FX parameters. Each kit's macro controls are designed to accentuate the sounds in that kit. But if you want to get all up in there and edit macro parameters, you can do it here. Loop edit can be accessed at the bottom of each white key. Open this window to adjust a loop's start and end point, crossfade, volume, pan, pitch, playback direction, and filter controls. The mixer page provides a channel strip for every loop, as well as two bus sends, and a four-channel master. Here, you'll find plenty of effects and controls to fine-tune your sounds. You can swap effects by dragging and dropping them on top of one another. To copy effects, once again, just hold down the Alt or Option key, then drag and drop wherever you want the duplicate. Arcade offers sub-presets for all modifiers, FX modules, and modulation sources. This above and beyond function gives you the power to speed up your workflow while modifying sounds or building your own kits. Simply click the three dots next to the module's title to access a drop-down list of sub-presets. To modulate, all you have to do is right-click on any parameter to assign. Then, you can edit all modulation sources here. Arcade will intuitively lock to your project's tempo. If that's not your style, you can slow it down or speed it up globally by clicking on the kit playback settings. Here, you can engage legato mode and toggle input quantize on and off. For those not so hip to the lingo, turning on input quantization guarantees that your sounds will be triggered in perfect time. It's a great tool for live shows, but your DAW's playhead needs to be moving if you want it to work. For those with superhuman vision, Arcade can be viewed in three different sizes. With so many functions to play with, the default setting is large, but visit the Window Size menu within Settings to switch it up to a medium or small window. Over the next few months, we'll be rolling out more videos on how to dive deeper into Arcade's never-ending functions. Until then, feel free to consult the online manual, which can be accessed from the help page in the dashboard. And hey, thanks for checking out Arcade. We can't wait to hear what you create.